Access granted. All right, guys, let's test out this new website. It's called Vidar.io. Where would you like to get started? Any, what the hell do I know? Okay, so first thing it looks like sorting by time. It has a list of trades. I guess people are making. Someone put 34,000 to buy three calls at this strike of SPX. Awesome. So this is just a list of trades. Maybe we can sort by premium. See what the most. Jesus, $260 million in one trade. They bought 800 calls. Jesus. And that's being done like for all of the strikes. They all have 200 million. Oh my God. But uh, yeah, I guess that's SPX for you. People just trade the market. But one good thing you can see is that they're all calls. So most people are putting tons and tons of money into uh, calls on the SPX. So I think my thousand dollars, you know, in calls should go to SPX as well. Let's see what else we got. Volume to see what was the most traded. Of course, the SPY, but it's actually puts. Okay, so maybe I should put puts on the SPY. Why? Open interest to see what position do most people own. So currently HYG puts. Okay, what the hell is HYG stock? High yield corporate bond that's been going down. Okay, and everyone's buying puts on this. That's interesting. I don't know what it means, but it's interesting. Maybe we should also buy puts in this. And then there's an energy meter with a lot of words on it that I'm not going to read. But yeah, let's sort by most energy. Q, SPY, all puts. SPS actually puts have high energy. Still don't know what that means. Very cool. Oh, whoa. How bullish the market is? I guess slightly bullish or not bullish at all. Yeah, I don't know what any of this means. There's no explanation. So oh, we have some filters. Don't know what any of it means though. Stocks only. Let's see which stocks are the most traded today. Apple puts. Okay, people are, you know, make sure that they don't lose money on Apple. The biggest existing position is Bank of America calls. Let's check Bank of America stock. It is down bad, but I guess it's been going up and it's just a dip and people want to buy it. Interesting. Let's see what else we got. The sectors, if we only want to do something that we're interested in. Ooh, some this is kind of cool. Let's say we only want the, the ones where people throw tons of and uh, we want them expiring ASAP. Yeah. And we want it out of the money. Let's see what crazy ass trades people are making. Let's sort by premium. 44 million in S. I guess the filter for stocks went away. Still very cool. Oh, and then I guess this last one is just a list of some pre built filters. Top crypto. No idea. Next tradescape i guess we should turn off the filters nope i don't know how to turn them off how the hell do i turn off the filters all right so i filtered it down to just stocks and it looks like there's a lot of tesla trades going on but there need i mean there's a lot of uh, green a lot of calls but then there's a lot of puts too so nothing stands out go back amazon is big and green yeah it looks mixed as well but it's green instead of orange and then shopify i guess is gonna be very red oh we should short shopify i don't know what's going on there but we should definitely short it people are doing some short-term shorts this is cool tree map is fine i like the bubble better Ooh, bar chart kind of cool i love this i mean i like the bubble chart for some reason but yeah very cool insights in general tesla trade data just a list of what everyone's trading i guess oh and then puts compared to calls but none of these are sorting whatever next discovery scans okay let's scan stocks high volume stocks percent more volume than the 10 day app. so these are either never traded yeah this one is just a 10,000 times this one was never traded before so this is a little broken but kind of cool options race Maybe this is like paper trading or something. Oh geez, what the hell? Oh my God, that's so cool. Wow, oh my God. Okay, I wanna see stocks for the last seven days. It was SPY and Tesla, and then am people started buying more and more Amazon. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh my gosh, I like that. Calls for today. It looks like it started off with a ton of Tesla calls, but then people started buying more and more Amazon, and it's just so cool. I don't know if any of this is useful, but that was kind of cool. Okay, what else we got? 
homepage. Ooh, heck yeah. Looks like some paper trading games, just market in general. Social sentiment, I guess GME. Is GME doing good again? GME is doing awful. So I guess it's a good time to buy the dip. That's what everyone's saying. Very cool. Short squeeze. Okay, I liked it. Gives you a, you know, something to look into. And then you can go on Reddit and look up and see what happened. I'm looking for the option. Alerts, unusual bid on ETF. Extremely oversold momentum. Strong bearish move potential. That's cool. Sitting below major resistance. Oh my God, this is really cool. Our unusual options activity. Heating up calls on this is cool attendees put zilla geez anyways i mean these are unusual options activities so this is how how much more people are trading these options today than they were yesterday and palantir is a very meme stock so if the meme stock is increasing in options this much it must mean it's about to blow up or it already did jesus 15 percent down well i guess that answers that it used to trade for like 40 or something yeah very cool up st upstart down six percent but it's up 30 percent the last five days so definitely gonna have tons of options trading going on and it looks most of them are calls i mean this is really awesome a nice tree map just in general most people buying spx this is all i need and if we could just get a widget of this like as my home screen on my phone i'd be chill i just need to know where are the options and what color are they so tons of options in tesla everyone's going long and video good to know top 10 sectors gold mining is going up okay insights to see most calls here hot news that's not working okay terminal don't know what that button does stock screener Ooh, this looks oh my god you can you can say like i want to see a stock that's just that's above support and oh yeah i want like just so this is a list of stocks that are close to their support and the rsi is oversold it's kind of cool so what happens if we click on a stock? You see its chart? Jeez, this stock went down today. Some decent information, some useless. None of this makes any sense to me. I Maybe I picked the wrong stock. All right, let me go ahead and sort by market cap. No filters, Apple. Oh, I guess this is the candle. Started here and then closed. It opened here and went up to this, but it's red because it stopped here. And it went down to here and stopped here. Very cool. Kind of just the same thing a candle does, but more confusing. I like it quick news options news interesting unusual options activity very cool i want these. some random v score nonsense non don't know what any of this means some nerd stuff balance sheets more useless here we go social sentiment price versus sentiment you see that price goes down sentiment. can we zoom out no this is each day price skyrocketed sentiment didn't care at all no idea what any of it means actually no idea what this stuff is but i'm sure it's cool look there's an outlier this is probably a support at like 135 that's cool probably don't know what any of this nerdy stuff is max pain price okay useless explore let's look at a uh, it stock like shopify with the v score of 100 even though it's crashing awesome great v score don't know what that means but yeah next live charts with tons of drawings on them oh the volume profile built in this is cool all right I'm done with that oh maybe v scores like the volatility i have no idea what that could mean options matrix is the thing that we started off with i guess something called market indicator Oh, trash anyways. Games, I guess paper trading, random news. Hopefully we can subscribe to it. Nope, no idea. Oh, here we go. Alerts. There we go. Now we need to create an alert. We want stocks today. And then this is just a bunch of alerts. So it's like, hey, look at Palantir. It's going crazy. It's extremely oversold. And then we check it out and it's awesome. Oh my God, cat is extremely oversold. No way. Wow. See, this is cool. I like these alerts. It tells you what to look at. So you don't have to like scan the market for anything weird. You just read it. It tells you right here. Very cool. I like the website. Am I going to use it? Yeah, I might add it to my daily checking stuff just because it has those bubbles, man. I just love these bubbles. That's that's all I want. Also, the alerts are pretty cool and it has a really good screener where we were able to see where everyone's putting their money in. So not bad. I'll probably, probably log into it every day just to find out is there any interesting stock to look at? And then from there, there, I'll switch to a different site to actually do any analysis like option strat or trading, but definitely glad I found it.